All right, I just wanted to give my little rundown, my thoughts on what I think of the GT73. Right off the bat, original motor, trash. Right over there. Didn't even last 200 miles. I'm gonna just get that off the rip real quick. It was, it was good for the time being, but the shit only went 25 miles an hour. And if you're going downhill, you could get to 37, but that was, it doesn't go faster than that. So glad it blew up, so then I had a reason to get the new shit. Now to the new shit. I got a QS205 3.5T. I opted for that one just because I wanted higher end speed over the low end torque. Um, I will say one thing. If you go with pegs and take off the bike, uh, the pedals, if you take the pedals off, you put pegs on, do not go by the frame. Because if you do, it'll pinch it together and then start to bend down. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Just put it on the bicycle gear shaft, thread it on there, however you need to do it. That shit took me like 10 minutes of muscling it on there, but it's all right now. It's on there. All right. Now, I did get the 100 amp Sabaton just because I didn't plan on buying new batteries yet. And if I did the 150 amp, I would have to go with 72 volt batteries. However, if you get the 100 amp, you can run 46 to 72. Fun fact. Now, I do have the original battery conversion pack just because it came with two batteries. We need to convert it to one outlet so it can go into the Sabaton, as you see there. And, yeah. Oh, since I did put the Sabaton on though, it did get rid of the tail lights, the turn signals and shit, so I am trying to figure out how to wire that shit up because I did get the waterproof Sabaton and it didn't come with the harness kit. So I do gotta figure that out. In the meantime, Got a bright ass light up here. Zip tied, of course, because why not? But my favorite part is this. Power that on. Get the USB. I do like these batteries because they come with USBs. It's kind of convenient. Go fuck in there. There we go. I put a light bar on it. If you get one of these, I kind of recommend it. Just because if you ride it at night, ain't no one going to see your ass. <laughs> I do have controller. Change it, whatnot. But I really just like that because I don't have the taillights, bro. I ain't trying to get hit from the rear end. And if you do get one of these, highly recommend getting a, like a little satchel bag. I did have to uh, sew it together to some straps to fit on there, but it's better than putting your phone on here or some shit because you can put your phone right in there. It's perfect. But since I do get higher top speed, I do need to replace the brakes because these brakes were meant for something that only goes 25 miles an hour. And now that I got a heavy ass motor back there, this shit don't like to slow down. Especially because the bike gets up to 55. It's kind of crazy for 46 volt. But I will post the parameters in the chat.